Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy, a uh, STEM-based pre-engineering pre-architecture program for post-secondary and secondary uh, schools. We are going to talk about how we can print just one sheet. Typically, as you are uh, doing a project, the client will make lots of changes. And if you go out to visit the client, you could surely show them, uh, you know, your electronic format. But you could, but typically, you bring a sheet of paper, and then they can, we can redline and talk about changes. So that's one way that's very popular. But I just want to print one sheet. I want to print a sheet set. If you've ever seen a set of construction documents, they are very, very thick and follow specific standards. So let's go ahead and go over to this. This looks like a sheet with a title block. We're going to double click on that and that will bring us to this area. And this has already started, the program has already started a cover sheet for us. It has elevations that it's put in that we might have changes, but if it cha if we change it, it changes at every place. We change it one place and everything changes, so the information is always up to date and correct. At the bottom, there are some masters, and uh, these are default master sheets that we can print to, but if you want to, it's very easy to create your own master or edit or change this, or even insert your DWG title block if you'd like to. So there's a lot of opportunities here, but we're going to leave this on Arch D, and we're going to come up to the first floor plan. And this um, is the first floor is going to print at one quarter inch equals a, uh, a foot with the the pen thicknesses that we specified. If I right click here for editing and go to drawing selection settings then I can see a lot of things that I can change here. I can change the pen thicknesses if I don't like it. I can change fonts if I don't if I would like to. Um, I can change scaling. So there's a lot of different things that you can change here including what uh, layers are on or off. But um, so now we are on a standard title block here. If I zoom over into this area you can see that we have like pound project name, pound street. These are like attributed data. And this is a very easy and a great way to make sure there's no mistakes. You know, if you have to redo, if you make a change on your floor plan and you have to manually review the ele I mean, redo the elevations and all of that, the chance of making a mistake is very great. But if you just put it in one place and it populates everything, the chances of being right are much greater. So let's go to File, Info, and by putting in Project Info, it will populate all of my title blocks. You can also put in notes here, uh, project review and session reports as you go through your uh, the various reiter reiterations of your project. So I'm just going to do this quickly. But anyway, this would be like uh, the name of the client. You might want to put Mr. and Mrs., but I'm doing it very quickly. And I'm going to say New Construction and the project name is number is whatever that wasn't a number but <coughs> and the company uh, well you know again I don't want to put in a whole bunch of stuff but I will put in the city and I can complete if I don't put this all in then I can also complete this later or I can change it or I can load it from a file so now every one of my title block sheets will be populated with that information now, the easiest way to print just one single sheet, and um, I, you know, I've, th I've done all kinds of different ways, but I think this is really slick. This program works a lot with PDF files. So if I go to Save As in this view, I save this as whatever sheet or whatever I want to name it. Make sure you know where you save it, and arrow down here and save that as a PDF. It will save that. And uh, I can save it on uh, a jump drive, for instance. And currently, lots of the large format providers are putting in jump drives directly into the new large format printers or plotters. And the T1100 series is very cool. You can just walk over with your jump drive with this PDF on it. It'll automatically read it and then print it. Or you can, of course, 
pull up the PDF and uh, print to a network printer or whatever you need to do. But this is a that's a quick way to print one sheet of your drawing set, and it doesn't matter which one they are. Here you can just print them one at a time until we're sure we've w worked out all of the issues and have the uh, quote unquote perfect uh, plan ready to go. Thanks for listening. I hope this helped a little bit. And uh, we'll do a couple of more in this series on how to create your own title block and, or, and also how to bring in a title block, an existing title block from your DWG.